I have a different quality of sleep. That's what I can tell. When I had the apnea, I would wake up after sleeping all night and I would want to go back to sleep desperately. I'd like, I don't want to get up, you know, because I haven't been to sleep and that's how I felt. My pulmonologist had told me it's a matter of time before you have a stroke or a heart attack because, you know, you're not breathing at night. Um, what happens with sleep apnea patients is their tissue in their mouth and throat collapses due to gravity. And so what this device does is at times when the patient's trying to take a breath in, it will send a stimulation to a pacemaker device and this device will in turn stimulate the nerve that controls the tongue on one side. So it will gently push the tongue out of the mouth and it will open up the airway behind the tongue and be, uh, to help air flow in and out of the throat. Uh, we were part of a multinational clinical trial with uh, a company called Inspire Sleep Medical out of uh, Minneapolis. We enrolled 126 patients in our clinical trial, uh, had uh, phenomenal results. We showed that it did work. Um, that we had no infections, device-related inf infections during the trial. Most of all, at least in our 12, 18, and, and 24-month uh, data in this clinical group, that patients are still using the device. And so that's the key compared to CPAP where um, patients only use it about 40% of the time long-term. This device uh, had a very robust uh, usage in, in the clinical trial population. So people still felt it was working for them and they were using it uh, two and three years out from treatment.